to zero. Now, remember, um, we talked about holes, and actually, did we? I guess I'm curious because I'm going over this free calculus as well. But remember, we could also have, there's two different discontinuities. You could have a hole, or you could have an asymptote, right? Holes technically, a lot of times, you're going to have you know, a little more, like you're looking at a jump. But to identify the vertical asymptotes, we know we can't have the denominator equal to zero. Um, so therefore, I can set that. Um, but to identify, well, so first thing, automatically I know my denominator cannot be equal to zero. So I'll say four, uh, x squared minus four equals zero. Add four, add four. x squared equals four. Square root, square root. x equals plus or minus two. Right? So now we know that, all right, my asymptotes could be at, at uh, plus or minus two. However, I'm not sure if these are both the asymptotes or not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to factor my expression out. I'm going to factor the numerator, factor the denominator. Because remember, vertical asymptotes are non-removable discontinuities. So if we have a removable discontinuity, which could be plus or minus two or could be both, then those are not asymptotes. So when I factor this out, I get x plus four times x minus two x squared minus 4 is x minus 4 times x plus 4. Which way? Oh, it's here. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, so therefore, no, it's still on. So therefore, we're left with x plus 4 divided by x plus 2. So in reality, the only thing that's not removable our real vertical asymptote is x plus 2 um, equals 0. So x equals negative 2 is our vertical asymptote. So what, if, what is this x plus 2 then? What does that occur in our graph? That's going to be a 4. four. So our only vertical asymptote is that x equals negative 2. So be careful with that because a lot of times, yes? Is that the same thing in y where you rewrite 0 to be a 4? Yeah, you can just, be a, be a, just make sure you do all right.